Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm a Simple K-12 webinar host, EdTech and Curriculum Consultant from New York City, and founder of ClassTechTips.com. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite tools, Nearpod.com, which lets you transform old PowerPoint presentations. So Nearpod.com um, lets you, on the web, take old PowerPoint presentations and completely transform them. And so that's what we're going to look at today, how to transform old PowerPoint presentations. Now Nearpod is a presentation tool. You as the teacher have an account, and your students can log on to Nearpod on an app, on a computer, on a Chromebook, anything connected to the web, and you can push out your presentation to them to view. So we're going to take our old PowerPoint presentation and make it new with Nearpod. So I'm already logged in with my free account and I'm going to hit new and I'm going to make a new lesson. And so when I go to make a new lesson, I can add slides to my presentation. So I'm going to take old PowerPoint slides that I've made and my old PowerPoint slides, I just save them as a PDF file. That way I can upload them really easily. So I'm going to go to add slide and I'm going to add content, so some slides that I have. And so I'm going to go here and add um, some images that I have. And it lets me add it as an old PowerPoint if I want to, but I'm going to use it as a PDF today. So we're going to go here into Browse My Files. And I've got some right here um, in my inbox. Here's my PDF document. And I'm going to upload this right here. And it's going to bring in all of my slides. It's adding them right here. Slides are all uploaded. I can go ahead and add interactive content to go in between my slides. So maybe I'm starting off my PowerPoint presentation and I want to add in an activity for students to do. So I could put a poll in here and I can add my question like how many of you have seen this before? And my answer might be looks familiar. I know all about this. Or maybe it's something like um, I don't know. And I can add all of these in. And so by adding this activity, I can go ahead and put my poll, which now goes all the way to the bottom, up in the beginning of my presentation. So you can add all sorts of activities here, whether you add a poll, an open-ended question, a quiz, something to draw, fill in the blanks. All of these are ones that you can add totally for free as you are creating and updating your old PowerPoint presentations. So this is one way that you can take old PowerPoint presentations, really make them new, and push them out to your students for an interactive um, presentation.